hey guys welcome back to the channel so guys in today's video we are going to be learning how to cut and sew this beautiful reversible braless top if that's something you're interested in do make sure to keep watching and let's get right into the video so yeah to make this i'll be making use of this polka dot fabric and this plain black fabric so they are both remnants from projects that i've worked on before so you don't really need like a serious fabric just make use of your remnant fabric and you'll be good to go so yeah for this um top um, my boss measurement is 34 divided by 4 gives me eight and half so yeah and the length of the top that i want to work in with is measuring eight that's the length of the bralette part alone is measuring eight so i'm just going to go ahead and make use of this white pattern paper and just mark eight inch there and mark eight and a half inches wide mark it right there and then i'm going to go ahead now to fold the paper into in a way that the other end stops at that eight and a half inches mark that we have i'm just going to use my hand to just flatten the pattern paper down so that when it's measured we have it measuring four and a quarter when it's open it should give us eight and a half so i'm just going to go ahead now and make use of my scissors to cut out the excess paper there and also cut out the excess paper at the top also because we are making use of eight so that when it's opened we have our pattern paper measuring eight inches by eight and a half inches which is what we have here so i'm just going to go ahead now and just label them like so and further fold it back into like so and then i'm going to make use of my french cuff to kind of create the curvy effect so you can do it this way or you can do it the other way around so yeah it does not matter either ways you can do it and you still have the same result because at the end of the day we will still be opening the pattern up or then making use of it as one piece so i'm going to go ahead now make use of my french curve and my marker to just curve it like so and then use my scissors to just cut directly at that marked point and here yeah, we should have something like this so yeah, you can go ahead now to divide the pattern paper into or you leave it as one piece like it does not really make any difference it's because this is just the shape we want yeah so you can do it to divide it or leave it as one piece so now i'm going to go ahead now and cut for each of the fabric for four patterns each so yeah after i was done cutting i added half of an inch half allowance all through the pattern fabric and pattern as you can see so i have the polka dot fabric four piece and i also have the plain black fabric four piece so that's what we need we need four piece for each of the different fabric so yeah that's two and we have three and the last one making it four so now the next thing I'll be to go ahead now and cut out the band. So my waist measurement is 26, but I wanted to have a lacing like you've seen. So I'm making use of 20 inches. Yeah, I'm making use of 20 inches. And yeah, for the width of the fabric, I want it to be three, but then I'll be adding one inches of allowance so that we it gives us four. So that when I'm join, done joining the band together and then joining it to the bralette but it turns back to being three so we have a fabric measuring 20 by four so i went ahead and i cut out the fabric but yeah the fabric here is measuring 21 i added one inch because we're going to be folding in a half inch on both sides so i have it measuring 21 for the plain black and also 21 for the polka dot fabric so now i also went ahead to cut out the fabrics that i'm using for the straps and also for the loops so yeah for the straps i just have the fabric that's measuring one and a half inches in width the same thing for the one that i'm making use of for the loops but then i just um, did it in a way that is just extra long and yeah, this one will be used for the loops itself so yes yeah, also measuring one and a half inches so i'm just going to head over to the sewing machine now and fold this into like so and then just stitch all through to the end and also the same thing for the straps just that for the strap we'll have one end neatly sewn and the other end open to turn it inside out so i'm just going to go ahead and just stitch across that part to the end and later sew straight down leaving the other end open to turn it inside out i'll be doing this for all the straps 
so now for the bralette part i'm just going to get rid of the pattern paper now and then head over to the same machine now to sew them together so i'm going to place them right sides facing each other like so and then just teach by half of an inch which was the allowance that we added when we we're cutting the um, fabric itself so just sew a half of an inch repeat this for this other part and also repeat the same thing for the black um, fabric also so now that i'm done sewing it by half of an inch this is what we have i'm just going to go ahead now to just notch that allowance around along the cuff area just notch it and do this for all of the other pieces I also went ahead and also sewed in the straps and as you can see I sewed that part so that it has that close stitch up there so that we have a neat finish at the top and then I left the other end open through which we are going to be turning it inside out. So now I'm just going to go ahead now and make use of my skewer stick to turn this inside out. So you can make use of your safety pins, you can make use of needles that have been threaded. So either way, just find a way to turn the straps inside out. So one end is out to the other end that is open and I'll be doing this for all of the straps. It was looking like after I was done turning all the straps and you can see those two neat ends of the straps here. So they're looking so neat. You can see the two neat ends of the strap. So the next thing I'll be to go ahead now and insert this in between the bralettes and to sew it up. So you're gonna just take two of the bralettes that's one plain and one of the polka dot fabric and place them right sides facing each other like so and then i'm going to grab one of the strap because here we have two straps i'm going to grab one of the strap and then look for that part where the strap is opened at the top so that part that is open that's the part we're going to be making use of so that we have a neat rope so just place it like so in between the two um bralette parts of the top you get what i mean right so just place it like so and place the other plain fabric above in a way that the two right sides of the bralette top are facing each other and then i'll be making use of a safety pin to just hold the three pieces together that's the polka dot fabric the strap and also the plain fabric just hold it together like so and then i'm going to head over to my sewing machine place it down like so in a way that the strap just stays in between and does not get in the way while we are, while we are sewing and i'm just going to head over to the sewing machine now and sew by half of an inch from one end all through to the other end leaving the bottom open to turn it inside out and i'll be doing this for the other bralettes part also and now that i'm done this is what we have i'm just going to get rid of the pins on both of the cups and then turn this into cut out the excess fabric at the top so that we have ease of turning and then i'm just going to go ahead now to just turn it inside out like so and this is what it should look like after it has been turned inside out looking so beautiful and cute already so yeah and also doing this that the same thing for the other cup also so yeah i'm just going to go ahead now and just hold the two cups together so that they just stay as one piece but yeah i went ahead and i stitched them just to close it up so that it stays together as one piece and this is what we have like it looks so beautiful already so the next thing i will be to go ahead now and attach this to the band of the bralette top so yeah for the band i went ahead and i joined the two pieces together by half of an inch but then i did it in such a way that we have the sides already folded in by the half inch so i went want to insert our um strap we don't have that stress of kind of trying to fold it in by half inch because this fabric is kind of stretchy it's going to be stressful to fold it in and expecting it to stay in so that's why i just folded in both sides like so by half of an inch so now that i've folded it like so i'm just going to go ahead now and mark the midpoint of, of each of the fabric yes just give it a notch there and also give it a notch at the plain part and this is just so we know the middle of the band so that we don't have the cups staying at the side instead of the front of the band you get what i mean right so now i'm just going to go ahead now and place the cups like so so you see that i place the black parts to be against the black parts you get what i mean right just place the black parts to be against the black parts but then i want to do mine in such a way that the two cups overlap each other so that i don't have my cleavage is showing 
so I just put it in such a way that the two cups overlap each other and then i'm just going to make use of a safety pin to just hold that part that overlap and the part that's notched we notched on the black fabric so that they just stay together like so so i'm just making use of my safety pin to hold them down like so and yeah it should look like this so you can do that to make use of your sewing machine just to hold the cups down to the black fabric first before continuing but for mine i will be doing all of them at the same time so now before we stitch down i'm going to go ahead and ensure that all the remaining parts of the cups that the strap and everything stays inside so that it's kind of serves like a sandwich where the polka dot fabric stays above and then still ensuring that the notched part of the polka dot fabric and the notched part of the plain fabric aligns together so that we don't have that um kind of rumple look at the band so we're just ensuring that they align together like so and then ensuring that the cup that's the bralette part now still stays in between the two band like so i hope you get what i mean and i'm just going to close it up like so in, in a way that we have the plain fabric the ends of the cup and then the polka dot fabric also and then just ensuring that that half inch is still folded in like so and i'm going to head over to my sewing machine and basically just sew by half of an inch from one end to the other end and still ensuring that the half inch at the other end is also folded in so that we have ease when we come to insert the loops so in this way it's looking like so i'm just going to go ahead now and turn it inside out through one end of the band yeah this is what we should have when we are done turning it inside out this is how it should look like looking so beautiful already so yeah the next now will be to go ahead now and insert the loops so before we cut out the loop, we're going to mark out points where we want the loops to be. So yeah, since the band is measuring 3 inches, I'll be putting one at the top there, putting one at the end, and also inserting one at the middle. That's 1.5 there. So just inserting one at the middle. So you can do make you can make yours to be two. It mustn't be three, but I just felt like three looks more cute and more you get what I mean, right? So yeah, just mark the same thing at the other part also. So now for the loops, for each loop I'm going to be making use of two and a half inches. So I'm just going to go ahead now to cut this out. And yes, since we need three loops for each side, so in total we need six loops. So I'm just going to go ahead now and just cut out six loops. Yeah, and after I was done cutting, these are all the six loops, three for each side. So I'm just going to go ahead now and just fold in the loop in two like so. And then just insert it at each of the points where we want it to be so just insert it like so and then make use of your safety pin to just hold it down and i'm just going to be repeating this for all of the three loops so now that i'm done inserting all the three loops i'm going to head over to my sewing machine and then just stitch it down like so and repeat the same thing for this other part also and that's basically it for this top and after i was done inserting the loops on both sides this is how it's looking looking so beautiful so yeah this is the polka dot part and here this is the plain part looking all pretty and that's basically it for this bralette top i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did do not forget to like subscribe turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos thank you guys for watching once again bye bye and see you in my next video